Hiya, anime fan! Happy Days are here again with Sailor Moon Crystal, episode 22. The episode begins with Sailor Venus, Tuxedo Mask, and King Endemion, who are just standing around going over what the Death Phantom's deal is. Standard supervillain rap sheet. Insurrection, terrorism, attempted coup d'etat. But there's a storm a brewing in the time space room, so the heroes run to check it out. Meanwhile, on planet <laughs> Hole, I mean planet Nemesis, Sailor Moon is wandering around the big spooky castle, spying on the bad guys, and appreciating the neo-gothic architecture. It's really more high gothic. And then she stumbles into Sapphire's big room of evil. And the dude starts monologuing about how his brother's gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, the plan to remake the future's gone way off the rails, and it's all Sailor Moon's fault. But it's okay, cause Sapphire's gonna fix it the most efficient way possible. By stabbing it multiple times. But Queen Serenity won't take that <laughs> lying down. So she sends Sailor Moon an overcharge, or possibly possesses her. The point is, Sailor Moon rescues the other scouts, and they have a throwdown with the Black Moon Clan. In the fray, Rubius gets dead at the hands of Wise Man and the Wicked Lady. And the castle explodes as the girls escape and reunite with King Endemion, Sailor Venus, and Sailor Pluto. But it seems Tuxedo Mask has been taken by the Wicked Lady. And it all ends on a cliffhanger. Well, the dry spell is over and SMC is showing what it can do. The atmosphere is by far the strongest aspect of the show. This episode starts off dark and gloomy with heavy impending doom, considering both Rini and Sailor Moon are lost at the hands of the Black Moon Clan. But Sailor Moon perseveres and is able to prevail in the face of adversity. Seeing her, Sailor Mars, Sailor Mercury, and Sailor Jupiter squaring off against the Black Moon Clan is a great triumphant moment that has been a long, long, long time coming. The actual fight itself is good by Sailor Moon Crystal standards. You mean low standards. Well, no, the animation is pretty, along with the magical particle effects. And there's a give and take to the battle. The scouts shoot, Wise Man blocks, and Prince Diamond shoots back. But yeah, it is a little bit slow and stilted. Especially when compared with more action-oriented Maho Shoujo anime. But whatever, it's still a good fight. There are a couple of minor missteps in this episode, though. First off, what exactly happened when Sailor Moon freed herself from the Black Moon Castle? She seems to be under the control of Queen Serenity, and Space Galadriel even delivers a big speech through her younger self. So whose victory is it exactly? They say Sailor Moon was able to tap into the power of the Silver Crystal, but it's still very convoluted. Then there's Prince Diamond. He delivers a short speech about how greed and a desire to possess the crystal are the cause of a lot of tragedy and destruction, but he's kinda wrong, and basically just the wise man's puppet. We never see any justification for why he despises the silver crystal so much. We've never seen any wars over it. Now granted, the Dark Kingdom wanted it, so if dark forces from outside the solar system keep showing up to get their hands on the darn thing, then maybe PD has a reason for wanting it gone. But they just don't go into it enough. And if he believes that a longer lifespan and unbroken decades of peace are weakening humanity, some elaboration on why he feels that way would be nice. That's if they're going the Magneto route. But if they're going the equally good Doctor Doom route, they've explained entirely too much. Just show the guy being unapologetically and fabulously evil, and it'll all work out just fine. Okay, now it's time to break down the good and the bad in Sailor Moon Crystal Episode 22. On the good side, the episode has great atmosphere. The action scene is darn good, and the whole team is back together. Hell yeah. On the downside, how exactly Sailor Moon gets the massive power boost she needs to escape Planet Nemesis could have been better explained. And the Prince is not the most effective villain out there. But hey, that's not too bad, so I give Sailor Moon Crystal Episode 22 a 4 out of 5. If you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913. Or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.